Good. Okay. All right, so hopefully you guys hear me and also see my screen as well. So hopefully that's fixed. So yeah, uh, for the guys who aren't sure what name is um, Anele. And I think the reason why we are here, I'll give everyone a chance to actually log in. So in the meantime, if you do have a question that's related to whatever we're talking about at that particular moment, um, you can either type the question or repeat the question. And then from there, you'll be, um, well, I'll be able to answer whatever question that you might have. If not, you can just basically type, um, I mean, rather raise your hand. I think there's a button somewhere in this interface here. I think there should be a button somewhere in the interface. You just click on it. It says raise your hand. And as soon as you're able to see it on my end, and then I'll unmute your mic. And then you'll be able to speak and yeah, we'll be able to um, sort of like hash out whatever you need to, whatever query or question that you might have. Okay. So, most of you, um, the reason why we're here, why we're in that in the WhatsApp group is because, as I mentioned before, um, so I will go see. What you can do is, um, I think, unmute your mic. I can see you raised your hand. Um, you can unmute your mic. So I will be able to unmute it on my end. So you'll be able to talk just. I think it's a plain um, phone audio or something like that. I think it's done it. So yeah, I can talk. Yes, so you had a question. No, bro, I don't have a question. Is that your voice? Okay, it's a bit low. Um, yeah, yesterday, so I'm not sure if that's a, better now. Yes, yes, better now. Okay, right. Let's just get rid of those. So we can, uh, yeah, basically hear each other clearly. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, um, we all know why we're in the group, and that's because we're talking funding, right? So that's one of the big moments that I had um, initially getting started. So some of you guys may know my story, some may not. Um, I think if you've been following me a while, it's been a while since I've been on Facebook, I think it's probably like six or seven months, if I'm not mistaken, but um, this is something that made it worthwhile for me to come back because what I realized actually getting into the prop um, trading that a lot of people don't know that it's something that's available. Now, one of the issues, the major ones that a lot of traders do have right now is that they lack the funding to get them to where they need to be. Because it's a matter of, you do have um, the necessary skill sets. You know, um, you do have the bright sort of like mentality, you do have the ambition, but at times you might just lack just the capital part of it. So it's it's a very common issue. So there are a lot of, are a lot of solutions to be honest, and this is one of them. Um, which is why, like I said, uh, doing this, and no one's going to be paying anything when it comes to all of this. So, as I said, I'll make sure everyone that is, uh, I can say, I can say qualifies, I can say qualifies, yeah, I think qualifies the right, right sort of word. So, anyone who does qualify for this, excuse me, guys, I'm still sweating. I just came out of the gym like right now. So, I'm in downstairs, so I'm still sweating a bit. So, that. But in any case, what I'm saying is, um, for those of you guys who do show like that promise and uh, potential, I'll be, I'll be willing. Initially, we were looking for just, I can see there's a whole lot more interest, uh, which is okay, as long as to me, you can prove that you can actually do, you know, if you can prove to me that you can stick to a trading plan, you can sort of like follow that trading plan, and you're not too greedy when it comes to how you how you do things a lot of guys obviously they have to um, fight off that need to be greedy which is a basic human instinct i would think 
and you need to be able to willing to learn basically so if you're not willing to learn new things um, not willing to sort like expand your skill set that also becomes a major issue so like i said um i'll take on guys um, anywhere between 20,000 US dollars to 50,000 US dollars. So, what everyone has to do in order for them to get the test account. So, for the guys who've already sent me the track records, I think there's like two guys who sent me track records. They have like eight months track record. Another guy has only about four months. Um, if we can trade one more month on that account and make consistent profits on it, I mean, as long as the outcome is profitable, because what I'm looking for is not someone who even knows going to make money each and every day, each and every week, or each and, each and every month. What, what I'm looking at is someone who can make a consistent profit in the long run on average, because that's how you do the market. That's how you make the big bank. Because a lot of people try to force things, try to make money each and every single day and each and every single week. And that leads to a whole sort of like catastrophic sort of situation where now you try to claw your way back you're already down 60 percent and you need to make 50 to go back i mean 100 percent of your now to go back to where you were initially so it's something that you don't really want to get yourself into so i always suggest don't go for big numbers don't go for big numbers for me personally i'd be happy to see someone make a consistent five to eight percent on average because you can make a really good amount of money with that so especially if you start scaling up and you go to thousand us dollars or two hundred thousand us dollars i mean with ft more you can get i think the max okay i think with the uh, forex fund you can go up to 1.2 million us dollars so you you gotta start somewhere okay you gotta start somewhere if i feel that you still need a bit more in terms of um i can say you're not there yet, you are profitable, but there are things that I'm uncertain about. You'll probably start to off, let's say, with a $10,000 account, but I mean, better than nothing. So with that, um, I'd like to go over just everyone open a test account. So these are the basic rules that I just want to outline. Okay, so this you just basically ignore, but these are the uh, daily starting drawdown. So you're not a supposed to have a drawdown for that particular day of more than 2,500 US dollars. So if it reaches $2,600, um, that's basically for like over leveraging your account. That's about 12%. I mean, sorry, that's about, uh, I'll double check now, but I think it's 6,000 US dollars, that's 12%. So overall, you're not allowed to lose more than US dollars in total on your account. You can go. You can go to five thousand, I can say five hundred US dollars, okay, or five thousand or fifty-five thousand rather US dollars, but you can't lose six thousand US dollars, even if it was just pure profit, because that's how drawdown is calculated. So you need to be conservative. Um, I'll show you guys how I calculate my risk, my lot size, and it just ensures that I don't over leverage my account. Okay. So thousand five hundred US dollars um for daily drawdown you're not supposed to exceed that right so just try and keep and not lose more than two thousand five hundred dollars on that fifty thousand dollar account in a single day and overall try not to lose six thousand US dollars it's okay to tone down your lot size if you're experiencing let's say a losing streak because everyone goes through a losing streak so it's okay to size initially because I'll give you plenty of time in order for you to, to get there because the main objective is to actually get there. How quick is um, not that big of a deal, right? So those are the basic rules. And obviously you must have five, minimum of five trading days. So I used to be like, okay, we need to have at least 10, but five is okay, which means on you need to trade at least five days, right? So by that, I mean, we need to close trades at least five so you might close the trade on Monday, you might close Monday, and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you might have closed positions on each and every single day. You open them in the morning, and you close them in the evening. So that's one trading day, right? And then let's say you opened one on Monday, and then you close it on Tuesday. So that would be two. So just make sure that you adhere to that. It's not a big deal because I'm pretty certain that most guys will 
we won't have an issue of getting to five um, twenty k. So what I'd like to see is a minimum of about eight uh, eight percent in terms of growth. So about eight percent. I prefer to say ten percent, about five thousand US dollars, but I drop it down to about eight percent. So I like to guys to earn at least about let's just say four thousand US dollars, right? From this fifty thousand dollar account, test account, you guys at least earn about four thousand US dollars without exceeding the six thousand dollar overall drawdown. Okay. So that's basically the entire thing. So as you guys know, we're gonna break it up into two sessions. So first one is going to be 14 days and then the second one is gonna be another 14. That makes about 28 trading days for you to be able to sort of like prove yourself and um, reach that particular milestone. So I don't think it should be a deal, right? So I'm hoping all of that is clear. So the reason why I was saying it makes a whole lot more sense to be able to go after the larger funds is that if you're trading with a hundred dollar account and you need a hundred, you need to make a hundred to actually make a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars is not much, it's like probably one thousand five hundred bucks, and you can't really do much with that. Okay, and you need to make a hundred percent, which probably means you're risking one hundred percent. So one or two trades could basically wipe you out. You can make one, two, three good trades, and then the fourth one, it wipes everything out. So trading with a small account is a huge, huge disadvantage. Right? Trust me, I know that. So if you're working with, let's say, a $50,000 account, right, and you make 10%, that's about $5,000. Um, you got about, I don't know, I have to forget the numbers before. I uh, can't quite remember that. Probably looking at anywhere between around seventy-five thousand South African rand. I'm not mistaken. Okay, that too basically take home. If you can consistently make that sort of a return, use basically the same strategy that you use on a hundred dollar account. Because I like I told you guys, I went from a three hundred dollar account, and then I had to prove myself there, right? And I got to fifty thousand pounds. So I got a 50,000 pound account. So I was a bit nervous, obviously, initially, because I've been trading small accounts. And then once I got a 1,000 pound account, I mean, it was, a 50,000 pounds is quite a decent amount of money. I mean, like 2 million South African rands, if I'm not mistaken. But it's, it's, it's not the actual amount that, that scared me. It's the fact that, obviously, now I've got this big, account which is not actually mine so i'm going through with it on the program and i feel like i'm being watched and i start feeling nervous and all of that stuff but once i got the hang of it uh, which is basically what you try to do is you try and go back to what made you consistent in the first place so if you're using support and resistance continue using support and resistance the emphasis is going to be your edge right that's one of the most overlooked things when it comes to markets is a lot of guys try try different strategies and they take this one and they go to this one and if this one doesn't work this week and so they they strategy hop and nothing really comes out of it because you don't understand whatever edge that that strategy carries and you're not refining or refining whatever edge that is present there okay so i gave you an example i think it was earlier today um my, my nephew is about 17 years old. He had an account, dollar account that he had. I gave him a strategy when I was home with him last year. And then I gave him a couple of ebooks and a couple of videos that I did. And I actually gave him the system that I use because it's semi automated. So I gave him the system that I use as well. And he was going to take it that seriously. But for the past three months, he has been trading. And he has been following the system. Okay. He has been following the system, but he hasn't been following to really understand the edge that the system carries. So I don't trade on certain days. I don't trade certain markets with the system. Um, I don't trade during certain times of the day. And they 
take trades that have a stop loss of a certain amount. Thus, I trail certain trades, and others I take half off. You know? So, I understand all of that. So, when I showed it, I um, went through to my ethics book, and I just changed a few things. I was like, okay, if you had taken these pairs only, and at these times on these particular days, look what your your equity terms would have been like. So he's been losing, I think it's about 20% over three months, which is not bad for a rookie. And once I showed him by those three or four edges, he basically took it was basically minus 20% to up 105%. Okay. So that's excluding some of the markets that I do in the face. So it's important to note each and every single thing that you do in your trading. You know, so make notes of make note of the outcome of the trades. Go back, review them, you know, um, what went wrong, what went right, where it doesn't necessarily mean if you have a losing trade that's a because you might have a good trade, right? It follows your trading system, but it turns out to be a losing trade, right? That's something that we all have to go through. So, yeah, that is what we're doing, right? So everyone needs to open up a test account where you already have a six month trading statement. Just pass it on to me, connect it to MQ5 or connect it to my FX book, one of the two. I'll be able to review it, see what the drawdown looks like. And I'll also give you some of my advice on what you can improve in terms of currency pairs that work the best for that particular strategy. And, you know, we sort of like tweak the times and also the time of day and all of that stuff to really, really just maximize whatever that um, you are making on that um, account that you already have. But on the test account, I'd like everyone to have it sorted, let's say by the end of this weekend, um, so everyone can get started at least by Monday. All right. So as I said, um, I will be doing all of that in terms of um, setting up the accounts right so you don't have to worry about anything um the amounts that you see there i will make sure that those are taken care of and the only thing that we are going to be doing for let's say two or three months after you've done when you actually get the capital we're going to split um, the funds 50 50 right so if you make it thousand dollar account make 10 percent you'll get two thousand five hundred us dollars Right, so you'll get a 2,500 US dollars, and then obviously, basically, some of the some of the funds go to the prop fund. Okay, and then if let's say you make 20 percent within two months and a half, whatever the case may be, so that's about I'd say 10,000 dollars, I think. So, on a 50,000 dollar account, that's 10,000 dollars, that's about 150,000, right. And over there, obviously, you also get 50% of whatever you you earn there. So you get 150, 50, rather 25,000 South African rand. So that's basically how it's going to work. And like I said, for me, it's it's not really tying down everyone, anyone. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do is get some of, get you, some of the guys on board. And once they're on board and they're comfortable, you know, after two or three months or four months, if you want to and say, okay, you want to go start and take the funds and put them in your own separate account, then you can by all means do that. Because I think for me, I'll, this is something that I continuously want to do. Obviously, I'm building my own team. So there's guys that I want to, I want them to step up. And currently, I have like three guys that um, I trade with on a permanent basis or a day to day basis. Um, they have funds already that they are trading. So what I'm trying to do is just get guys on board, right? Um, once you consistent with that, right? To start making some money, pass on the message, you know, um, get someone else in, uh, let them know about the opportunity. And if you do see the potential, obviously you can either sponsor them and just let them know that this is something that's available and then they need to fork out whatever $90 or $300 or whatever the case may be for them to actually get started. So that's my main purpose with this whole thing. Okay. So um, I think I've mentioned trading edge before, right, earlier on in our, con in our conversation. So I won't go back to it now. What I'll do is I'll 
probably do another session a bit later on the detail of what the trading edge is, how to identify it, and how to basically take that and mix it up with whatever, with whatever trading strategy that you are using. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is basically the position size calculator, right? So, this for risk management, this is what I, I used to use. And I think I stopped using it like a month ago or two months ago because we just had this. Um, so like script that we started using and it just works so well it just works so well so i just just use that script nice one it has a trading panel you can just go buy sell you just punch in one percent or two percent risk and sets the stop automatically based obviously of um we preset it so it's like 50 pips stop and then you just take by yourself and most of the positions is going to drop it at 50 pips one um you have your values here okay and you have so like your descriptions for whatever value that you're going to punch in so here we have currency pair and looking at the obviously most of the currency pairs are here okay most of the currency pairs but this is only for currencies guys i haven't seen um, any indices on this so but i think whichever one it's baby pips or something has one that does have indices i'm not quite sure but i uh, can just go and check that out but for guys who are trading currencies let's say you want to trade um cap right so you just click gbp cap the account is in us dollars you're just going to click us dollars uh, let's say our account size you can open up an account with fifty thousand request or even just for the real account um, and then you want to risk just one percent so risk ratio percentage you're just going to risk one percent um, of this Fifty thousand US dollars. Okay, and let's say your stop loss is going to be fifty pips. So to make things simple, so stop loss pips, you're just going to punch in your fifty pips, and then you just click on calculate. And here, you will get whatever lot size that you punch in. So the size is one point two seven, and the money that you're going to risk for that particular trade is five hundred US dollars. Okay, so you're buying one hundred and twenty six. Um, thousand or rather 127,000 units of uh, the GBP versus the CAD. So this is as simple as it can get, guys. Um, obviously, at GBP AUD rather, it changes the lot size to 1.4. So it's very precise. You still see everything is still the same, but the only thing that changed is just um, the currency pair. So if we go and say GBP CAD, you see the lot size changed, but the actual money that you is not the same that's why sometimes you might get three trades each of them are one lot size each right um you win two positions right you make 20 pips for each so that's about 40 pips and then you lose one trade that's about 40 pips let's say your stop was 40 pips but when you're looking at your pnl you actually you might actually be down because um different currencies <laughs> Obviously, since they have different price values, um, the lot size needs to be different. Okay, it's very difficult to, unless you're trading one currency pair. You're always trading one contract, one standard contract. That's okay, but if you're trading different currency pairs, um, you always have to make what that specific currency pair basically means in terms of um, in terms of lot size. Okay. Time is all, almost up. Right? Um, I do have a session okay, in the next couple of minutes. So, if you guys do have any questions now, you can just shoot them now. If not, um, you'll be able to do so, let's say, during the next hour or so via WhatsApp or your Telegram channel. So, whichever is better for you. But if you don't have any questions, come. I'll be logging off now and then we'll schedule some time for our next session. Uh, any questions that you might have, you can shoot them through either WhatsApp and then we can discuss them here or I can just rather respond to you via WhatsApp. So keeping there from 10 o'clock to around 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock is the worst time to get me guys because that's where I can to the market. So I'm really focused on the London session. But after that, I think sometimes it's just easier to, to get a hold of you so and you can send me a message and we respond and then we can just resend the message a bit later on or just for like i don't know 
make me aware that I can respond to that message by saying hi or something. So hope you guys enjoyed the session as much as I did. And yeah, I hope to see you, uh, some of you guys in um, in the program, right? So I hope to see some of you guys in the program. Basically make some, uh, some money because I mean, like I've always said, there's a huge shortage of profitable traders and good traders out there, right? So needs a lot of work, needs a lot of focus, but definitely is worth it in the end. So guys, enjoy the rest of your day and just